Let's thank him personally. You look all fucked up, man. We're gonna fuck you up ah, even he's more. Alone. This little doggy's not around to help you. Yeah, where is that fucking mud of yours? Off chasing fire trucks? <laughs> or is he off humping some guy's leg? Stick together here. Okay, Shadow, stay close. See the news? Do you know how many times I had to share my ID to get here? Jack, people are looking for you. Yeah. All the wrong people. 
Jesus, Jack. You look terrible. I'm afraid my badge doesn't have the power it used to. My god. Your shoulder. It's nothing. This is serious. What the hell happened to you? Where's Shadow? Oh. Here, boy. What have you two been up to? He's always been a poor judge of character. You need to end this, Jack. Whatever all this is, reach out to the department. Let them help you. <laughs> there is no department. Not anymore. Everything on TV, it's a lie. You want the truth. I'll tell you the truth. This is Marla Bales, GC News, reporting from Temple Tower. We have just learned that a vicious gang of armed thugs have taken a number of hostages on the 15th and 97th floors. We have yet to hear a list of their demands or any other form of contact. The attackers interrupted a live broadcast debate hosted by Julian Temple, the owner of Temple Networks, on the increase of violent crime within the city. Oh, asshole. What the hell? Excuse me. Do you know who I am? You did get that. I knew things were bad when I heard over the squawker that Captain Ines was in charge of the scene. I'm still not getting an answer. For the love of God, someone get me talking to these guys. Guys around the precinct called Ines the shark. It seemed to me he was swimming backwards and drowning. No, no, no. Detective Slate, we don't need vice down here interfering. Yeah, it looks like you need all the help you can get. Where's the negotiator? Where's SWAT? Like I'm waiting on a cup. Listen, Slate. I'm doing the negotiating. Doesn't negotiation require a two-way conversation? How many are up there? Do you know? How many hostages? How many hostage takers? Do we have any shooters covering the balcony? Look, we're gonna sit tight and wait for backup. Understand? Oh my god. Oh no, 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 Jesus! <laughs> no! Oh, Jesus! Fuck, listen! These fuckers don't wanna talk in this! Wait's over! Are you gonna make a move or not? Get back! Get back! Uh, we we'll hold back, establish communication lines, and listen to the demands, and then we'll wait for backup! This is police captain in there. Please pick up the phone and train it. Is. Send SWAT to back me up if they ever show. I'm giving you a direct order, Detective. You go in there, I'm taking your shield and your gun. Here. You point it in that direction, and you pull this to make it go bang. Feel free to point it at a bad guy, if you ever end up facing one. Resources at GCPD disposal, a building like Temple Tower could never be secured. It's too big, too open. Whatever these guys had planned, they'd planned it well. PD! And stay down! Oh, my God. 
guy was carrying an earpiece. I figured that it would come in handy, give me some advance warning. Hey, it's okay. I'm a cop. Any word on 15? No, but I managed to see a dozen of them before they shut down the security cameras. Probably got about six or so hostages. From 97 on up, I saw a lot more. The 97th is the TV studio, right? What's above that? That's Mr. Temple's penthouse. I think some of them got in through the private helipad on top of the building. Okay. How do I get up to 15? They locked off all the elevators, but I managed to keep it open. It'll take you to the 15th floor. Okay, it's all right. Just keep sending any civilians up to the barricade, and then get yourself to safety. What? People are dying up there! Please! I'd heard of the Union before. They were a blue-collar sledgehammer, out to smash every brick between the haves and the have-nots. But even with, even with members overflowing the old docks and scrapyards in Milton, they never really had a plan. And this was too organized. I didn't buy it. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> What are these guys on? Guys on? No need to read his rights. Should have surrendered. Motherfuckers can't ignore us now. Not unless they want more blood on their hands. We're splattered all over the sidewalk. 
Where are we going? Damn right. When the Union's got something to say, people are gonna listen. Fuck you! Come on, cop! Come the red... <laughs> Shit! Shut your fucking hole! <laughs> Shut the fuck up, suit! I fucking mean it, I'll shoot you! Oh shit, oh Jesus, oh God! <laughs> what a nightmare! We're alive! I can't believe we're still alive! Remain silent. Oh my god, you saved me. Thank you, officer. Thank you. You've got to get to the 97th floor. They're holding Temple and the others captive in the broadcast studio. I have my executive security pass. I can get you access to an elevator, but you'll need to move fast. Sit dickhead with the megaphone. 
still going? Yeah. This is Captain Anus. And, uh, we're gonna let you go if you talk to us. We swear. See, they were fucking stupid. Keep your eyes open. Or there's some kind of hardcore cop in the building. Be ready. Get me out of here! Still fighting! The elevator will get you to the 97th floor. The broadcast studio isn't that far. There was still no sign of SWAT. I started to wonder if the Union had something else going on in the city. Something that would draw SWAT away from the tower and keep them busy. They've all gone quiet on the 15th. That fucking cop, he's wasted them all. Riggs. Riggs, what are we gonna do? You maintain your radio fucking silence and hold your positions. Whoever Riggs was, he was smarter than the other Union scum. He knew I was listening. Their comms were no good to me anymore. Someone pick up that gun! Anytime you're ready, so am I! 
I don't have time for this shit. here. had hostages placed, exits covered, the Union organized. He had military written all over him. What do you hope to gain from this? You've made a big mistake. Neither this city nor I will ever bow down to terrorist tactics. We've all had enough of being dictated to by criminals. Oh, brave words, Mr. Media, Mr. Wait, fucker.
Still fighting! I returned to the precinct to face my usual welcoming embrace. Then, put the hostages in a line of fire. One of them, Julian Temple. I mean, amazing. In less than a minute, you destroyed any chance of negotiations. Your negotiations ended with a woman being thrown out of a 15th floor window. You asshole. Whoa, whoa. What did you call me? Called you an asshole. Hey, Jack. Sorry my boys turned up late. We were busy elsewhere. You know how things are at the moment. We're stretched thin. You did good, though. Good? What do you mean he did good? He disregarded a direct order! We were late and they were throwing people off a balcony. Your inaction caused that death, and would have caused more if Jack hadn't been there to help you unfuck Bullshit. yourself. Bullshit! He saved lives! This town needs that kind of cop. Give him back his badge and gun and let him get on with what he does best. 
You know we can't afford to lose any more good cops. Are we done? For now. For now. Thanks. Like I said, this town needs good cops. Of course, you realize you're in the wrong department. I need more badasses like you and my team. You're still trying to recruit my boy, Red. Always. You're late for your appointment. Better not pull any cheap punches, Jack. Remember, I'm just an old man. Yeah, right, old man. You can hold your own. Just just go easy on me. I've already taken a few low blows yeah, there. Hennis has always had a beef with me, so he's taken it out on you. Still, you do like to hand him the ammunition, son. They threw a woman off a balcony, Dad. I couldn't just stand I there. I brought you up right, and you made a right call just to prove it. You won't find me anything but proud. No need to defend yourself to me. Just, just keep your guard up, in the ring and out of it. Uh, we're just gonna keep talking, old man. Are we gonna actually fight? <laughs> Don't be in such a rush to lose, son. Oh, to lose. Still talking. That's all I hear. Talking. You're a big guy, Jack. But out there, they got numbers, and they play for keeps. Oh, good, Jack. Quick reactions. A nice little sidestep avoids a nasty trip to the ER. Okay, now let's try to string some moves together. Let's try some combinations, son. Nice. <laughs> Sniff on that. Whoa, no wonder you were the police boxing champion. Nice. Got you. Good work. Well done. the ordeal. City authorities have praised his bravery and look forward to reviewing his recent anti-crime proposals. What are you hoping to gain from this? So, these guys, the ones at the tower, they were union. Yeah. Yeah, it used to be a time when the union were just that. Industry died and so did the cause. Eventually they just became another gang of thugs. It was a shame. Still, this is way beyond the norm. Oh, Bob, you should have seen the guy leading them. Military, or ex-military at least, there is no way the Union could have afforded the gear they were sporting. And that gunship? I, I've never seen anything like that. Just doesn't figure, Jack. Someone's firing them up, using the Union as pieces in a bigger game. We should head down to the docks in Milton and have a look around. Seems like the only lead we got going right now. What, we? I thought you were on that case down in Chinatown. I was. Well, I am. They're all afraid to talk down there. And damn close to a triad turf war. I'd like to back you up on this one, if that's okay with you. Shadow's got a good nose. Could come in handy. Yeah, he's got a good bite, too. My gut tells me that they're gonna be pretty tooled up down there. Waiting for a lot of heat to come down on them. Yeah, you're probably right. But between us, we might be able to get them to talk first and fight later.
Makes me sad to see how run down Milton has become. Used to be busy day and night. Good, honest folk doing good, honest work. Then the crash happened. They tried to defend their rights, but lost the battle. And then their ideals. Disaffected fathers raised disaffected youths. And they grew up to be just another gang of fascist thugs. I know this area pretty well. Don't remember that gate being there. Looks new, too. Reckon what we want is behind that. Shadow. Keys. It's funny. You know, I actually found Shadow in a place nearby here. I'm chained up and abandoned. What a scrap. How long are we supposed to wait around? Don't know. What did Riggs say? No word yet. I haven't seen him since he got back. Hey, who's there? Who was that? Who the fuck was that cop? Uh, news said his name was uh, Slate. Bastard.
swear that dog understands English. It's damn spooky. No. Just some choice activation words. Yeah, I'll remember that the next time I lose my car keys. Good boy. Come on. Let's take a look. But no gunfire. set up all right. Purpose-built practice kill room. Yeah, exactly. Wait a minute. I recognize this layout. This is the TV That's studio in Temple right? Tower. Hmm. They say how the Union does things. Surrender, or we will shoot! <laughs>
And this is the 15th floor balcony. No bullet holes. I guess they practiced with blanks. Lots of weapons drilled in here. And these crates. They must have contained weapons and gear. Now, someone went to a lot of effort to make sure the Union were outfitted properly. Yeah, for sure. Look at this. Floor plans of Temple Tower. This was the staging area for the attack. And what do we have here? I recognize these. Riggs wore them. Really? Good find. Shadow. Somebody took out the power. All right. We just gotta go around the back. Police. You two, just stay right where you are. Holy shit! Settle that thing down! Fucking cop from the tower! Easy, easy. Wait. No need to kick this off, boys. We just wanna talk. Let's just talk, okay? Just talk. We know you boys are in deep, and we just want to help. You've been pressured into doing something you don't really want to do. Ain't that right? No, we can protect you. We just need help finding the guidance. Freeze! Oh, 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 fucking shut up! Oh, wait! Go! Oh, no. Everybody freeze! Weapons on the ground and hands on your heads! Do it now! God damn it! Red's pushed these guys past the point of no return, son! Defend yourself if you have to. Requesting backup. Back up now. That's what you got.
Lights out! Holy fuck! Jesus, Red! Are you out of your goddamn mind? What the hell are you doing here? Hey, we were partners for a long time, Frank. I know when you're neck deep in shit. In case you haven't noticed, these guys were arming for a war. Like it or not, you needed some backup. Two guys and a dog aren't We've enough. We've had this argument before. This is not the way to do things, Red. We arrest people, we bring them in, and we question them. This is your goddamn mess, not mine. Frank, wait! You clean this up. We've got a trail that's getting cold. Frank! Frank! Damn it! Here you go. Yeah, see what you can find. There was a time people used to be proud of this city. Not anymore. Yeah, at least there's something still left to salvage. Yeah. So long as there are good folks around, this city will push through. Real shadow? Come on, boy. Lead us there. him. The bastard from the tower. Let's hear how this plays out. We need to find out how the Triad are mixed up in this. Could be another temple tower. Listen, you got a job to do. Uh, it's too big. Too risky. It wasn't part of the original agreement. Sang's in charge, and he's been paid and equipped. Fuck. The cops. Get the fuck out of here. Shadow can handle that. I'll follow him up. You go after the Triad. You're fast enough to catch him. Go! City police! Stay where you are! 
You once told me that a single moment can forever mark a man's life. This one marked mine. You should know. You were there. Dad! This is Slate, badge B26354. Officer down! Repeat, I've got an officer down! Uh, 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 city port, dockside east, oh, request immediate assistance! Oh god, oh god, no! Oh god! I can't stop the bleeding, I can't, I can't, I need help, help! Help! Oh god, no! Hold on! Hold on, Dad, come on! Just stay with me, stay with me, look at me! Look at me! Look at me! Focus on me! Look at me! They're coming! They're, they're coming! They're coming! Just stay! Oh God, no! Stay with me! Look, we'll be here any second. They'll be here any second. Just... Jesus Christ, where are they? Dad, hold on! Oh God, hold on! Dad! Fight, Dad! God damn it, fight! Just fight, fight, fight! Stay with me, Dad! No! No, God damn it, Dad! Fight! Fight! Oh my God, Jack! Oh God! Out of the way, Jack. We're gonna do everything we can. Damn it! Where's that trauma kit? Frank, can you hear me? Frank, get that airway clear. I've got a wound to the interior chest wall. Pulse is erratic. God. Okay. Erratic and dropping. He's unresponsive. I've got no exit wound. Shit! He's crashing! Bag him! Start compressions! One, two, three, four. Breathe! One, two, three, four. Breathe! One, two, three, four. Breathe! Come on! One, two, three, four. Breathe! Damn it! One, two, three, four. Breathe! Come on, Faith. Frank, please! Faith! Breathe! One, I'm sorry. Two, three, He's gone. Touch me, and things go no fucking. You murdering triad piece of shit! He was the best cop this city ever had. You got it wrong. Tell me why my dad is dead. Jack, stop! You're killing him. Fuck him, Jack. Killing him won't get you answers. It won't bring Frank back. Faith. Take care of my dad. Don't leave him here. In the dirt. Where are you going? To find answers. I didn't have Riggs, but I did have a name, Tsang. Papa told me about this guy. He called himself Guai, some kind of Chinese ghost. But Tsang understood showmanship. He liked to cut out his enemies' tongues, to feast on their souls. I had to do a little ghost hunting. Gonna put us out of business. Where the hell are the police? 
Let's go, Shadow. Come on. Off this. I ain't dying here. Not like this. Not today. Still fighting!
together. Keep the line. Switching targets. <laughs> Should have run, fucker. The bodies belong to a couple of guys who worked the trains. They'd had their tongues cut out. That was Sang's M.O. I guess he wanted a train. Poor bastards have been butchered just to get it. First we're gonna kill your little dog. You come <laughs> 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 Go 
Get him, boy! I finally caught up with Sang. He was busy executing and snorting coke all at the same time. It takes a special breed of person to be that high and still be in charge. Made him dangerous, fearless. Important things to do. Clean this up. Including them. They <laughs> fucked up. Should have surrendered. I didn't want to leave my body. He had as much right as I did to pursue his vengeance. But I had no choice. I only hoped that he had the strength to keep up, to follow me.
ground.
on the ground. Just guns blazing. Not exactly procedure. I guess Red heard about Dad. Was on a vengeance streak all his own. Exactly the kind of distraction that he would use for an escape. Couldn't let that happen. Game over! I'm reloading! Get him, Shadow! I 
Grant Central was safe for now. I still didn't have a direct link to Riggs. He'd supplied Seng with drugs and guns, paid him to tear up the city alongside the Union. The question was, why? I had to follow the only lead I had left, Dock 765, the place where Riggs' shipping crates had come from. Wait. You're telling me you caused that train wreck? No, that was the triads, not me. I just got off early. Without Shadow, I wouldn't have made it at all. People could have died in that explosion, Jack. You could have died. Yeah, well, more people would have died if that thing had actually hit Grand Central. Please, don't you see this is doing more harm than good? You need help. A doctor. Tonight, you're my doctor. And I kind of think I might be in need of a sponge bath. Ow. Bedside manner's a little rough. So is your timing. Oh, easy. Now let me take a look at that hand. How did this happen? Who did this to you? Same guy who did the shoulder. I was getting to that. By the time I returned to where Dad died, you'd moved him. But I could still see him lying there. I was sure that Doc 765 would hold an answer that would put me on the trail of Dad's killer, Riggs. I was right. But what I found was just the tip of the iceberg. back there. One of them must have the key. Shadow. Keys?
Good boy. Riggs had a nice little sleepover set up. Everything needed to nail him was there. A cop's wet dream. All the evidence in one place. Still, no link between him and Dad. The answer was there. I just had to find it. Who the fuck are these guys? Definitely not SWAT. Red. What the hell? I know this place. It's the Pinnacle Stadium Project. Did you get the money? I got half the money. Well, that's traditional. Half now, half on completion. When you storm the tower, don't forget to make me look good. That's important. Just stay behind the camera, though, eh? And red water. Red water's dangerous, Riggs. An uncontrollable fanatic. He's in this for all the right reasons, just the wrong reasons for me. He'll take the city by force, then you eliminate him. Don't worry, Temple. You won't know what hit him, especially from behind. Temple? Julian Temple. Guess Riggs wanted some insurance, just in case Temple double-crossed him. That insurance became my evidence. But Redwater? Seems he'd been doing some overtime off the books. He was mixed up in something, and it looked more expensive than SWAT. I wanted to check out the stadium, but first, I had to see what else Doc 765 had in store.
I remember Dad talking about a spate of arson attacks back in 82. Took out a dozen or so small Dockland businesses, some that weren't so legit. No big loss. Place was condemned. No one bothered to knock it down, so they just left it to rot. Typical Grant City. It was a device designed for Armageddon, some kind of armored mobile ops center, next gen, fully modular. Years ahead of anything I'd seen in service, there were enough of them to get into some serious shit. It was branded GCPD, but some department I didn't recognize, GAC, Grant City Anti-Crime. Should have been GCAC, I guess, but that wouldn't roll off the tongue quite as well. Whatever the name. The hardware was more suited to war than police work. Intruder detected. Initiating lockdown procedures. Dispatching response to them. Over. Acknowledge. The intruder appears to be a large Caucasian male. Dark hair and male complexion. Around 6 feet and 200 pounds. We advise that the intruder also has, has a very large dog with him. Over. Unit 1, Roger. Requesting no command. Unit 1, you are a go. You engage the target. Over. Still fighting!
Get in there, boy! Go!
Shadow, go! Take him down! Shadow, heal. I've seen some shit before, but never anything like the GAC. Whoever these guys were, they weren't interested in arrests or interrogations. They were judge, jury, and executioner, all wrapped up in one nasty package. <laughs>
Red was involved with the GAC. I needed to talk to him, get the facts, warn him about Riggs. Along with Temple, Riggs was the key. My link to Dad's death, the gangs tearing up the town, everything. Shit! Go after Temple later, but first, I wanted Riggs. And the stadium was my best bet for finding him.
William Pinnacle, had grand visions for the city, including the stadium. Would have been the new home of the Grant City Anvils. He was even a candidate for mayor at one point. He ended up in jail, and plans for this place got shelved. No one picked up the tab, and it's been a wreck ever since. I guess it ended up as a perfect symbol of the city after all. Gotta move! 
up for fuck's sake! These guys are packed. Come on, boy. Let's go.
a motherfucker! Ah! <laughs> 
the oldest trick in the book. Scare the people into granting you emergency power. Once you have that power, use it to get rid of the witnesses and take over. Our options are now few. I've spoken personally with the mayor and chief of police. This emergency task force will restore safety, security, and peace to Grand City. I personally feel that for too long, the voice of the people has gone unheard. Oh, you hear that? We're official. Execute them. Template used the gangs to create panic and the GAC to take over. If they asked him to give the power back, he'd just make up a new threat to keep the public afraid. Can't get past this fence. It'll fry me. Shadow, under there. Get in and see if you can power this thing down. Get me in there, boy. I'll watch the fence and the patrols. I'd seen this kind of anthill operation before, when I was in recon. This setup wouldn't look out of place in war zones 20 years from now. It was like getting a peek at DARPA's playbook. From what I'd seen, the GAC tech was beyond even the advanced warfighter system.
stop them. Two choices. Take down their lines of communication, or take out their transport. I decided to start with the choppers.
Intruder, all units, secure the gunship.
Yeah, you're big, but that's not enough. Come on, boy! Hey, Jack. You've been busy. I'd have moved on, but you kind of blew up my options. What, not in a talking mood? It's okay. I don't need you to talk. Wait there, Shadow! Over there, Shadow!
I buried a little earlier, Jack. Jesse James. Jack. You just wouldn't let it go. Get out. We're gonna talk. Oh, you call this talking? Since when did the law become martial law? This is all necessary to combat the cancer afflicting this city, Jack. You're crossing the line. We both crossed the line. We had to. You know how weak the GCPD's become. Well, you're mercenary. You're just. Just a gun for hire? Kimball had the funds I needed to take this city back. From who? The Triad? The Union? The hired help? Well, the people Temple paid to cause the chaos. Hey, I know Frank's death sent you off the deep end, Jack, but let's not... You're blinded by your own fanaticism. You can't even see that Temple hired this fucker to kill you. Don't believe me. Redwater's dangerous, Riggs. An uncontrollable fanatic. He's in this for all the right reasons, just the wrong reasons for me. He'll take the city by force, then you eliminate him. Don't worry, Temple. You won't know what hit him, especially from behind. <laughs>
curfew is now in place across Grant City. Please return Come to on, your home. Come on, I can't do this on my own. Okay, boy, we've got to stick together here. Get Do this on my own. Go I get him, Shadow! <laughs> Shit, he's gonna kill us all! I'm gonna make it out of here, <laughs> Temple's been firing up this city, fanning the flames with money and weapons just to set himself and his mercenaries up as the saviors. Temple's behind it all. And you're trying to stop him. Stop them. I just wish I'd believed you earlier. When did they get to you? What are you talking about? I'm still cop enough to know a setup when I see one. You said people are looking for me. Who convinced you I was the bad guy? Why did you sell me out? Someone called Redwater arrived right after you left. After Frank. After your dad died. Told me they were cleaning up the city and that you'd gone off the deep end. Said if I brought you in, they'd get you the help you needed. It's okay. Dad's death did light a fire in me. Sometimes. Fire needs to be fought with fire. It's not too late. I have to go after Temple to stop him. He has to pay for the damage he's done. With the gun, Jack? More train crashes? No. The way Dad would do it. The old-fashioned way. I'm gonna bring him in. What if I can make sure the path to Temple was clear? I'm calling in an EMT chopper. Meet us on the rooftop, then get you onto Temples. This is EMT Sands. I have a medical emergency, and it requires immediate airlift. What is your current location? Faith, listen. You make that call. Your career's on the line. There's no going back. It's over. It's the least I can do, Jack. I'm sorry. I thought I was helping you. Okay, I'm on the corner of 24th and Harbor. The roof should be... Thanks. This is 
Officer. This is a GCPD officer, badge B26354. I have a casualty with a severe gun wound to the abdomen. I need a medevac now! Fuckers! Shadow, help me get things out of here! We'll be there soon. Just hang in there, okay? Keep your eyes open, Faith! Focus on me! Anyone Keep your eyes open! After curfew, 
We'll need okay, to Jack. present full oh, identification. But you need to hurry.
ship. you to the medevac. I am not going to lose you too!
You have the right to remain silent. Watch your step! to remain silent. I need a
the lift!
Shut the fuck up. God damn it. He's got a hostage. I'll get him. Get up. I'm out of here. Oh, thank God you're here. Redwater's trying to kill me. Red's alive? I'd help him if I didn't need you in one piece. I'm gonna answer all the blood on your hands. What? what? I, I had nothing to do with this. Stop lying! I have a whole truck of evidence and bodies that lead right back here. You're responsible for the city, for faith. For the death of my father! No, wait, wait! That that, that wasn't me! I, I didn't you kill him! You gave Riggs the order! No! No, I didn't! There wasn't any such order! It, it wasn't Riggs! Red water killed him. Red... water killed... my father. That's a fucking lie. I, I swear it! You don't believe me? Ask him yourself! Red water? Jack? You're alive! Jack! Good! Good for you! Temple says you killed my father. I never wanted to kill him, Jack. I regretted having to. But he got too close when he followed Riggs. In the wrong place at the wrong time. Would have found the battle boxes, blown me up. Couldn't let that happen. Jack. 
Jack? Jack? You told me that I'm a good cop. I'm gonna show you what a good cop does, Redwater. I'm gonna bring Temple in. And when I've done that, I'm coming after you. Jack, we can... I, I only want to do good, Jack! For, for, the, for the city! I, I want him out of the way, too! He's gone off the deep end! Huh. Name your price. Where is that son of a bitch? Where is he? I told you! What, what, what do I get? I let you go. Really? At the Danvers Island! Wait! Our deal! I lied. You can't! You think you're a hero. My father was a hero. Decent people die while you take the glory. You're coming with me. Nice body armor. You figured you were in the firing line, huh? Fine by me. Happy to put you in it to help save my neck. Look, I got loads of ammo, too. Nothing better than a mobile reload mule. Here we go!
shit!
By order of city officials, a curfew is now in effect. This curfew will be enforced by the GHC. I am a civilian! You can't do this to me! Get off me! Across Grant City. Please return to your home immediately.
I swear, it wasn't me. Go there, boy. Oh, shit. Over there, boy. Good boy, Shadow. Let's go. Motherfucker! 
going on out there? Yes. Pleased to see you. What the hell is Mr. Temple doing here? Oh, thank God. Someone in charge. I want this man arrested. He's crazy. He's delusional. Temple orchestrated the attack on his own building. He's also involved in the attack on Grand Central. He's key to what's going on. And you can prove all this. Yes, and with Temple's testimony. You're out of your mind. How about I send Shadow in there with you to negotiate? <laughs> so you're gonna take my shield and gun this time? Jack, I was sorry to hear about Frank. We had our differences, but he was always fair. And usually right. I think part of me hated being behind a desk while he was still out on the street. But we both knew our place in the department what we did best. Right now, you're doing what you do best. I won't get in your way. Redwater. He killed my father. Redwater. Jack, if I'd known. Redwater put us in these cells when we refused to obey his GAC. We saw what was going on in the streets. I may be a desk jockey, but I still try to protect and serve. Careful, Captain. You're beginning to sound like a cop. Look, it won't be long before the GAC return and try to take back control. First things first, we've got to make sure they know this is our precinct. And then? And then, we take back this city. Captain, listen, I need you to keep an eye out on the security field. And keep us informed about any breaches that the GAC make. Can you do that? Sure, Jack. I'm on it. Holy shit! What was that? The GAC! Fight your weapons on the ground! We are entering the building! Shadow! Come on, Shadow! Shoot! 
Shadow, go! Take him down! What the hell just exploded? It felt like it came from one of the wings. They're coming from the east wing! Thank you. 
Johnny blocked all the precinct comps out. But there's a relay on the roof. If we can get to it, we can send out an all unit of distress from there. See if we can get ourselves some backup. need to read his rights.
there, boy. Go!
Go there, boy. This is it. Jack, buy me some time here. This is Police Captain Ines. To all available police units within the vicinity of the 87, the GAC are illegally taking control of Grand City and have attacked that position with lethal force. All units, respond to the 87th and provide immediate backup. Shadow, come here! Still fighting! Where is the Alpha site? Danvers Island. Didn't Temple buy up that land a while back? They must be using the old abandoned hospital as their base of operations. Place of fortress. Getting in won't be easy. There's a way in. And I'll make sure the fight is a little more even. Captain, will be at Danvers Island in an hour. Wait for my signal. Oh. And bring Shadow. What's the signal? I reckon it'll be something on the loud side.
of planning and preparation, the city signs us off, and we're fucking it up! Single man and a fucking dog put Beta Base out of commission. That same man and his fucking dog took back the 87th precinct with the help of traitors within the GCPD! This is unacceptable! Well, I have no doubt that same renegade cop, his fucking dog, and scumbag criminal allies are on their way here as we speak to try and prevent us from doing our sworn duty. To stop us from being out there cleaning up Grant City. I don't care what your background is. SWAT, Marine, Mercenary. You are the tip of the spear. You were recruited into this quick reaction force because you had the necessary skills and attitude. Well, gentlemen, our mission has only just begun. The violence of action is to our advantage, and no one is gonna stop us. We are gonna regroup, we are gonna go back out there, and we are gonna finish the job we started. Now get to your assigned posts. Stand by for further orders. Dismissed! I can't believe it's Slate still in one piece. Tough son of a bitch, I'll give him that. I heard his dog will rip your head off. Yeah, then piss on you like you're a fucking lamppost. Give me boot camp any day. This place stinks. Damn right. I've crafted better places than this. As soon as I set eyes on Slate, that son of a bitch is dead meat. But yeah, assholes like Slate need to be taught a lesson. Slate's mine. Officer Santini. Please report to the comm center for further orders on relocating hazardous explosive materials. Fucking whippy boy. Eventually he's moved that fucking hazardous explosive shit. Fuck. All units remain on standby. Report any suspicious behavior immediately. Alpha ain't bad. Better than Fort Rumble. They don't got much of a chow hall. I'd kill for a slide right about now. Take a look around. All clear here.
signal, Jack. Well, I wanted to make sure you got the message loud and clear. Jack, Jack, sniper in the tower. Take him down. Fuckers still fighting! Intruder alert! 
Intruder alert! Oh. <laughs> 
fuck off! Take that, you motherfucker!
get him, Shadow!
Shut up. Hang in there. I'll be right back, boy. I'm gonna get that fucker. You finally earned your wings, buddy. Just for the record. Thanks. Are we on? Today, Grant City pays their respects to a fallen hero, Frank Slate. A detective who worked over 30 years to build trust on the city streets. Officer Slate will be sorely missed by the rank and file, remembered as one of GCPD's finest. Mayor Gloria Exner will award him a posthumous Medal of Valor, which she will present to his surviving son, police officer Jack Slate. This is Marla Bales for GC News. I just wanted to say thank no, you. No, Faith, please, don't. He saved my life, and the city. We both did. Saying two words is the least I could do. Yeah, but I couldn't save the man that saved me so many times. And here we are. Another posthumous goodbye. Then honor him by being who you are. A good cop. Just like he was. When you're ready, I'm here. When you're broken, 
I'll fix you. Just pick up the tab once in a while. <laughs> okay. See you, Jack. Goodbye, Fred. How you hold up, Jack? Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Yeah, I know. I've watched the news. <laughs> the funeral was nice. To the point. Thank you. Just like your father. These are trying times, Jack. You can't lose faith. Yeah, well, I can't lose what I never had, preacher man. Now, after your mom died, your father used to come to Mass when he could. He found peace that way. I'm not really looking for it. Well, if it's any comfort to you, you were your father's pillar of strength, son. And he was mine. Now he's gone. You're not alone. If you need me, you know where to find me. Goodbye, Dad. I'll see you soon.